you are welcome to Day Tutor Academy where we feature free video tutorials to help you understand the fundamentals of mathematics and the science subjects. We have comprehensive solutions to numerous past questions from various exams including WAHEC, NECO, GCE, JAMBUTME, GED and IGCSE. These are aimed at preparing you to ace your exam with flying colors so that you can successfully build that great career you have always longed for. All you have to do is to just subscribe to Data Academy and turn on that notification bell so as to set yourself on a path to excellence. And with that, we can head over to our video for today, okay? T is equidistance from P and Q. The bearing of P from T is 60 degrees and the bearing of Q from T is 130 degrees. We have to illustrate this information in the diagram and find the bearing of Q from P, okay? Now, this is clearly a question from bearing and distance and uh, to even get it right, we need to get our diagram correctly. But they already given us the mandate to also draw that diagram. So, if you want to locate a particular point, what we need to note in this particular question is that we are told that first, T is equidistance from P and Q. They are the same distance. But the bearing are also being taken from T because the bearing of P from T first and then the bearing of Q also from T. So, T is a reference point for us. It's a hot cake that we need to actually work with. So, if we are to consider a position that we can take as T and we find the cardinal point from there, let's say this is what we are trying to take as our point T and then this is the north, the south, the east and the west for that particular point okay and we can say this is point t okay so we can look at the bearing of p from t which is 60 degrees 60 degrees in the first is in the first quadrant so we just measure like this and say this is 0 6 0 we can take that bearing to P, okay. So let's say this is the bearing to P, and then look at the other information by saying that the bearing of Q from T is 130. 130 is in the second quadrant, it is more than 90. From north to east is 90, from east to south is another 90. 130 is between 90 and 180, so it will be in this second quadrant. So we can also start from the north and just measure like this. Okay, so that is 130 and we can just try and get that diagram out. And then we are giving one very crucial information that this one between T and P and this one between T and Q they are equal. That's why they said T is equidistance from P and Q. So, if you are to label our diagram and say this is point, the first one, 60 degrees, point P, okay? And then the second one is point Q. This is the representation of the diagram, but we also need to label this correctly. So, here, this is, um, let me use another ink. This is 130 degrees. Okay, from the north here yeah, down to the bearing of Q from P. That is 130. So, this is the diagram they say we should illustrate on the diagram, and that is as good as done. We are now to find the bearing of Q from P, meaning that we go to Q. Let me use this Q and find his bearing from P. And to find the bearing of Q from P, it means that at P, we also take our four cardinal points. Okay. We take that four cardinal points, the north, the south, the east, and the west, and we find this bearing. That means that will be that will be this particular angle 
from the north here down to this not the south to, to this line that is inclining p and q together so that's what we are looking for and that is the bearing of q from p but look at this diagram now for us to get that bearing we were told in the question that the distance between p and t here and the distance between t and q they are equal these two distance being equal means that this is an isosceles triangle isosceles triangle that has two of its sides equal which inherently will mean that it will have the base angles to also be equal in that case this angle here and this angle here they are going to be equal i can call them angle x is also x because they are base angles of an isosceles triangle now look at the point t that we are coming from already we have known that from the north to the inclination of p from t is 60 year which we have gotten accurately we also know that from the north to q is 130 which you got accurately the difference between the two here will be 130 minus 160 because from north to here is 130 from north to here is 60 so we just subtract the two to get the angle here and that will be 70 degrees okay so now by reason of our understanding of triangles we know that 70 degrees plus x plus x is equal to 180 degrees why they are the sum of angles of a triangle okay so meaning that 70 or i can just say meaning that 2x is equal to 180 minus 70 and 180 minus 70 is 110 degrees such so that x will be 110 degrees over 2 and that will be 55 degrees okay now x being 55 degrees is clear but we are looking at the whole angle from north to this particular point where x is starting you can choose to just use a whole lot of means to get it but this is what i'm going to do if you look at this i just hope you will be able to see this very effectively this angle from this knot at t to point t then drawn to point p and down south these two angles let me use blue this angle here and i'm using double blue for and this angle here they are equal okay this is where you need to actually understand angles and parallel lines intercept theorems and co now this is angle 60 and this is this particular angle here is also going to be 60. this is 60 degrees also know that this is 60 degrees that means this small angle here this small angle here this small angle is going to be this angle is going to be let me call it angle theta is going to be 60 degrees minus x and that is 60 minus 60 minus 55 and that is equal to 5 degrees why originally i know that this place and this place they are alternate angles so they are equal now out of this whole 60 x has been taken out as being here can you see this is x this is x so this remaining will be 60 minus x which is what we got as 5 degrees but what we also find the bearing of q from p is look at this straight line this straight line from the north to the south that is 180 degrees okay in addition to this particular theta that we find plus theta and that is 180 degrees plus 5 degrees so that bearing is 185 
increased. I hope you will find this simple enough to understand and also um, comfortable enough for you to tackle whenever you come across them in some other places. It may look clumsy, but the more you study it, we have a lot of videos that we have done on bearing and distances. We can watch them to also build proficiency in this. What you just need to note is that here, yeah, this 60 degrees and this 60 degrees, they are equal because they are alternate angles. And out of these 60 degrees that is here, we have taken out X that we found to be 55. So the remainder will be 5. That 5 plus the 180 straight line that is coming from P to Q will constitute the bearing of Q from P. And it is 185 degrees. All right. So that's all we are going to be having in our lecture today. We hope that this will be of benefit of use to somebody out there. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of resources that you can use to enhance your academic excellence. And that's our desire that you go out and be the best. And as you do all this, we know that all will work out together for good. Until next time, God bless you.